heavens we will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. Come on, y'all sing, what's not to love? What's not to love about you? Heaven and earth adore you. Kings and kingdoms bow down. Son of God, you are the one. You are the one. We're living for. We will sing, sing, sing. And make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. You are the love that frees us. You are the light that leads us. Like a fire burning. Son of God, you are the one, you are the one we're living for. We will sing, 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 and make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus, and we will sing, 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 and make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of Jesus. Come on, sing it out one more time. Put your hands together like this. And we will sing, sing, sing. There you go. And make music with the heavens. We will sing, sing, sing. Grateful that you hear us when we shout your praise. Lift high the name of
So come now, Lord, like never before. Come on, y'all sing that out. I love the voices. Just the voices. Your presence is an open door. We want you, Lord, like never before. Your presence is an open door. So come now, Lord, like never before. Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Come on, y'all go ahead and lift your hands and sing this out. your eyes to heaven, there is freedom, lift your eyes to heaven, there is freedom. tired and thirsty there is freedom you believe there's freedom this morning come on sing it out if you're tired and thirsty there is freedom give your all to Jesus, there is freedom. Just give your all to Jesus, there is freedom. Oh, freedom reigns. Sing it out. And all oh, will see how great, how great is our God. And how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, will 
sounds so good.
God a hand clap of praise this morning. Are y'all thankful for what God has done in your life? Come on. Bless everyone to, to this morning, amen. You can take a seat for a moment, amen. I know you, don't, you, haven't, you haven't seen me here uh, for a while, amen. But thanks God, thanks uh, my Pastor Romero give me the honor today to receive the offering, amen. Uh, when we are singing this, uh, this song, amen, how great he is, right? Uh, we can see that, uh, we can say, sing this uh, today here this morning, amen. Uh, because he is great. I know that. Amen. And I can testify about that. Amen. Hallelujah. Because uh, uh, I remember, amen, because uh, when I was back in 1987, uh, is when I made the decision, you know, to uh, bring the full uh, uh, tithe to the Lord, you know, because uh, I was afraid in the beginning. And maybe some of you are, are the same way too. Amen. But let me tell you, if you are faithful to God, he will be faithful to you too, amen? Because uh, uh, don't be afraid to give, amen? Hallelujah. Because anyway, everything belongs to him, amen? Uh, I remember when I came to, to the Lord, amen, the first, uh, not back in 1981, that happened back in 1981, amen? A long, long, long way back, right? But that's okay. I'm still here, amen? Uh, giving thanks to him. Amen. And then I was, uh, uh, when the, the preacher was preaching, amen, uh, about the tithes, I didn't know too much about that, but always I, I had something to give, but not the whole 10%. Amen. And the Holy Spirit was talking to me, amen, during those years, all the way to the 1987, amen. I had four children, and uh, only myself working, but thank God I had been a blessing, amen, because when you are faithful to God, he will be faithful to you, amen? And in 1987, I made the decision, amen, no matter what, if I, you know, if I'm going to have food on my table or not, I'm going to give my 10%, amen? And from there, and before too, amen, because once you take the first step, you're going to start receiving blessing, amen? No matter what, amen? But today, he gave me, the, uh, Pastor Romero gave me the opportunity to be here today asking for your money, not for me, amen, it's for the Lord, because like, like I said, everything belongs to him, amen, and then the same way we sing in this song, we can sing it when we have money, we can sing it when we don't have money, we can sing it when we have food, we can sing it when we don't have food on our table, amen, praise God, I can do that, and thanks God, amen, I can say that, because uh, like sometimes, you know, we have a car. We have he You have heard this before. Oh, but I'm going to say it again. Because this is a testimony for myself. Amen? Yeah, in the past, I only have one car. Some of you only have one car. Amen? But let's say if that car broke down, how are you going to fix it? You have to, to have some money on your pocket, right? Amen? But thank God, today I can say, well, if that car broke down, I take this one. If that car broke down, I can take this one. You know why? Because I've been so blessed, amen, that I can say that. It's not to, get, to give the glory to myself, it's not to God, amen? Because when you are faithful to God, he will be faithful to you, amen? Praise God, hallelujah. But one more thing. Before the IRS take your money out, you cannot complain. You cannot complain. Amen? Because anyway, they're going to take it away. What are you going to do first? No, nope, that belongs to the Lord. Let me grab this 10% for the Lord first. And then IRS, we deal, we deal with that later. Amen? But anyway, like I said, if you put God first in your life, everything will be all right. Amen? And I'm going to read uh, right quick two scriptures because I think I take it too long. 
for the offering, amen. But you know what? It's a blessing to be here. Speaking the word of God, amen, hallelujah. And in Luke 6, 38, you can, sit, you can stay there, that's okay. Luke 6, 38 said, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, and shaking together, and running over. Shall men give it to your bus. For with the same measure that you meet with that, with all, it shall be measured to you again. That depends on you how much you want to give to the Lord. Amen. That's your measure. Be with, uh, deal with him, not with me. Amen. Then the other scripture that I have here today will be on Acts 20:35, and says like this: "I have shown you, you all things, how that so lovely ye us to support the weak, and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how He said, it is more blessed to give than to receive." Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I understand this scripture right here. Amen. Because sometimes you have to close your eyes. Amen. And no matter who, no matter what, give. Because you're going to receive back double. I have, I have, uh, uh, understand that. Amen. Hallelujah. I have experienced that. Amen. Because sometimes I, I, I like to help. Okay. I like to help. Amen. I don't see who, who is who, amen, but I like to help. You don't have to be like me. You know, that's only me, okay? But let me tell you, it's a blessing when you give, amen? Praise God. Now is the time to stand up and then bring your offering and your tie, amen, to the place. Praise God, hallelujah. But let me, before that, let me, I forgot something. Let's pray, let me pray, amen, hallelujah. You know, like I told you before, I uh, haven't been here, I haven't been here, you know, for a long time. But, you know, sometimes you forget things. Don't forget, you know, to give. Amen. Heavenly Father, hallelujah. We bless your name, Father, this morning. Thank you, Father, for giving us the opportunity to be here today, Father, hallelujah. To wait, Thank you for waking us up this morning, Father, hallelujah, to see a new day, Father, hallelujah. Father, bless the giver, Father, hallelujah. Bless us this morning, Father. Bless us with your word, Father, hallelujah. We give you the glory and the honor today, Father, hallelujah, because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Father. Thank you for everything, for your love, Father, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God.
to be in God's house. Amen. If you remain standing with me, those that can stand, if you have a disability, you need to stay seated. I understand. But let's stand for the reverence of his word this morning. Amen. If you have your Bibles, go to Psalms 34. Psalms 34. We forgot the kingdoms, kids. <laughs> we got two. Amen. Play the song, and then we'll go into, into the, our, our kiddos. Come on. Come on to the front. If you're a little one, if you're hiding in between the big ones, come over here. I guess there's more. They were just all hiding. Father Lord, touch the teachers, touch those, Father Lord. They're going to be uh, just sowing into their lives, Father Lord. Open up their minds and their hearts today, Father, to receive this word. We are thankful, Father Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. All right. Your Bibles go to Psalms 34. Psalms 34, and we're gonna read. We're gonna read. Do some Bible reading today. Amen. Say amen once you have have it. Once you have it, how many have their swords? Lift up your swords if you have it. Don't lift them up. I got you. I can see. You. Amen. Some some forgot their swords and they went to combat and didn't have a sword. Amen. Amen. Maybe they memorize it. That's okay. So we're gonna read. Uh, Psalm 34, here's how I want to do it today, amen. I want to read first verse. I want you guys as a congregation to read the second. I'll read the third, and you all read the fourth, and so on, amen, just so that we all get a little word today, amen. And it reads like this, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Those who look at him are radiant and their faces shall never ashamed. The angel of the Lord encamping around those who fear him and delivered them. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no lack. Come, O oh children, listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of all them all. Affliction will slay the wicked, and those who hate righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will perish, be condemned. Amen. Gracious Lord and Father, we honor you this morning. We're thankful, Father Lord, for your word today. Father, as you speak through me, Father, your anointing upon me, Father Lord, to speak this word. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Father Lord, over the services that are happening here today for our veterans, Father. 
Father, I pray over our pastor or leader of the flock, Father Lord. Hallelujah. Be with him, Father Lord, in the service in where he is now. And Father, I am thankful for those that walk through these doors. Prepare their hearts, their mind, and their souls, Father Lord, to receive your word. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everyone said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Thank you for indulging me in this reading of God's word. Amen. Today, I want to speak to you about courageous under fire and equipped for worship. Amen. First, I would like to thank every veteran that is here present. Those that are watching online on November the 13th, 2022, thank you for your service to a great nation, for your selfless service, your dedication, for your duty and your courage that served both in peacetime and in wartime. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to those combat veterans who have been deployed to other nations that have been in turmoil. And I can attest to that it's not an easy task. Amen. Any soldiers in the house? Who? Who? I heard two of them. Amen. There are soldiers in the house. And I will tell you, if they've deployed, if they wear that combat patch on their right sleeve, they understand exactly what I'm talking about. When that video played at the beginning, amen, and I saw World War II, hallelujah. There's something different from every war, but every person has a different experience. Come on now. But we're all combat at arms, amen. We're all brothers at arms, amen. We're all there to accomplish the same mission, amen. And here today, you have the same mission, hallelujah. As Christian soldiers, amen. As we stand before this Christian flag, hallelujah. You and I have a mission, amen. Anybody there with me? To have to leave your families for the comforts of home. To have been part of a circle of arms. That you have to train in order to be able to just move in mission. Amen. To be able to accomplish the mission. Not even thinking about the dangers that are happening around you. Come on now. I had a video that I wanted to see, but we were having some technical difficulties. When you go home, watch this video because it has to do with the message that I'm also speaking here this morning. And it's a video, a Veterans Day video, where Oliver North is speaking and there is, behind, there's footage and, and pictures of soldiers. Uh, they're in combat in 2003 in Iraq. And there is this soldier that is coming towards the, the aircraft, coming towards that helicopter, that Black Hawk or Chinook, whatever was there. And is headed in that direction and is carrying a, a wounded soldier uh, over, over his shoulder. Come on now. And he's already gone a couple of times back and forth, grabbed a couple two, and then this was the third one that he was bringing over. Come on, anybody there with me? If a person who by the very nature of his gestures has compassion to the arms to, to remove a person from danger, how much more could we do during the peacetime? Come on now. You see, something that you didn't get to see, uh, and Oliver Nerd kind of hints towards it, that gentleman who is running back, that soldier who's running back with that, so, uh, with, the, with that wounded Iraqi, and it's an Iraqi soldier. It's not one of ours. That's not a U.S. soldier. It's an Iraqi soldier, and he's running back. But you know what? He doesn't care. There is compassion. Amen. And they begin to yell at him, why are you bringing him over? Come on now. And he gives a gesture of, you're number one. Anybody there with me? Obviously, by his gesture, I know that he's not a Christian. But there is something that has moved him to compassion. Come on now. Amen. I don't know about you, but the church doors, hallelujah, are open for everybody, amen, for the believers and for the non-believers, hallelujah. And I believe that God is the only one that can transform and that can change the person that walks into those doors, hallelujah. Santo, santo. See, for the church today, you have been called to worship and to allow the Holy Spirit to change the very nature in which you find yourself today. Amen. 
You see the songs that we sung today about freedom, hallelujah, depending on the setting in which you find yourself, amen, have a different meaning to you, hallelujah. I can tell you for the deployments that I've been part of, amen, I've had to ask for the Lord, hallelujah, just like Psalm 23, amen, when David, hallelujah, is hiding, hallelujah, there is fear, amen, but he says, and I call upon you, and you heard me, amen. Those that are deployed, those that are soldiers, those that are veterans understand that being in combat, amen, sometimes it's a sacrifice. Hallelujah. Because you don't know they're on mission after mission. There is no such thing as waking up and just going and say, okay, here's what I'm going to do today. This is the plan. Sometimes you just live not by the clock, but the time that you're going to get fed, amen, and sometimes you don't get fed because you're on mission. Come on, anybody there with me? You can't get up, I'm hurt, I'm going to go to sick call, I'm going to go go over there and see how everything is doing in my body. You don't have that luxury, come on now. You don't know when you're going to get that next drink of water, come on now. You better pack up, you get get that quarantine, uh, uh, canteens and, and get that two quart, I can't even remember what they were. It's been so long. But you better be prepared. Come on now. And sometimes there are soldiers that will carry more water. Hallelujah. Not so that they can have it and be ready. But when there is a need, amen. When there is another comrade at arms, hallelujah. That says, man, I, I ran out of my water. I don't know what to do. He said, man, here, you're going to have some of mine. Come on now, anybody there with me. But we're so picky nowadays. I can even grab somebody's drink. Like, did you just touch that? Don't leave one open because I'll drink it up if I'm thirsty. Amen. And I see some soldiers nodding their head. That's right. Hallelujah. Fear, feeling of non-empowerment. The fear felt during the wartime by veterans is much as real as the fear of David felt as, as he pretended to be insane before Abimelech who drove him away and he left. There is is always a sense of fear that one of a mission will be the last mission. Come on now. Every time that you go on mission, every time that you were headed out on a deployment, every time that you had to take care of something, you knew, amen, maybe this is going to be the last time that I come back. You had to be prepared, amen, and I'm going to tell you, that's when you get so close to God, hallelujah. No matter if you're an atheist, I don't care what religion you are, I'm telling you, you begin to find and you begin to seek those that know God, hallelujah, and you become a beacon, you become a high tower in those times say aren't you afraid chief I said yes of course I'm afraid I'm always afraid I'm afraid right now but I'm gonna tell you what we have a mission and we have to accomplish that mission amen so let's get ready come on now get yourself composed and let's get ready to get ready for that mission hallelujah get ready to get ready see there's always a sense of fear However, I have also witnessed that is when we are in the broad danger that our lives will be lost. It's when I'm going to seek God earnestly. There's going to be an intimacy between me and God. Hallelujah. I'm going to call upon him, amen. I'm going to ask him to bring the angels to protect us, amen. I'm going to ask, hallelujah, to be with our convoy, amen. To be, hallelujah, with our task force. Whoever you are, amen, you're going to say, hey, be with our soldiers, alabado eres. For those that have known the Lord, we are able to encourage and to provide uplifting words that will become the, over their fears and allow the soldiers to accomplish a mission David feared. In 1 Samuel 21, 1 through 15, it was much different than what we just witnessed in the picture. And I don't have the picture up here of that U.S. Marine carrying that Iraqi soldier. Both are soldiers. However, one fears the Lord and the other does not. You see, there's a difference between knowing God and demonstrating through your actions that God is truly alive in you. Come on now. Everybody can see right through you. Hallelujah. Amen. Anybody can pick up a book. Anybody can begin to read. Amen. But when God is operating in your life, hallelujah, there is something more. Alabado eres. Something else is there. Amen. They say, I don't know why, Ricardo, why you display this 
bravery, why you're this brave, this courage, but there is something that is motivating. Hallelujah, to be around you. Alabado eres santo. Because I believe that God is around you. Hallelujah. He also protects those, amen, that maybe not know God. Hallelujah. But they get that blessing. They get that overflow. Alabado eres. Santo, santo, santo. Gloria. Oh, hallelujah. Any Spanish speakers in here? Just all Spanish. Okay, uno, dos. Amen. Dios me los bendiga. Amen. Tres, cuatro. Okay. So if you start, if you don't understand English, what's going on, that's, I just went to Spanish. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can have to have compassion, but still not have courage to give yourselves completely to God. I'm talking to the non-believer. Why? Because you still find yourself bound by the everything that the enemy wants to do. You see, the enemy wants to destroy your life. Amen. That's what fear is. Come on now. Fear is the unknown. Fear is the, I don't know if I'll come back or not. Hallelujah. But you know, they said, hallelujah, in the word of God. Hallelujah. Para mí, para el vivir es Cristo y el morir es ganancia. Hallelujah. To live is for Christ. Hallelujah. And to die is to gain. Hallelujah. I don't know why, who you want to serve today. Hallelujah. But whether I'm here or I'm not here. Hallelujah. I know that I'm serving God Almighty. Alabado eres. And that had to be the mindset, hallelujah, for those that were deployed, that those that were in the wars, come on now. You knew, hallelujah, it's all right. If I'm here, I'm helping out. And then if I'm not, I know that I'll be in the presence of God, amen. But surely he will take care of me, amen. Again, it's what the enemy, Satan, wants to, us to believe. But you see, there is freedom when we give God our heart and allow him to be the center of our lives, amen. For us, Pentecostal evangelicals, the evidence of speaking in tongues is a demonstration of God has made in our lives. Amen. It's a demonstration. We believe that. Hallelujah. If you don't understand our doctrine, hallelujah, come see us. We'll talk about it and we'll give you more insight, more scripture why we believe in those things. Acts 10, 44 through 46. While Peter was still speaking these words, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. Amen. The, the circumcision believers had, had, who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even unto the Gentiles. For they had heard them speaking in tongues and doing what? magnifying God, praising God, hallelujah. That's why it's so crucial to be in worship, amen, hallelujah. Because when your soul is down, hallelujah, when you know the hallelujah, that fear is creeping in, amen, you just begin to sing a song of joy, hallelujah, a song of victory, amen. And all of a sudden, the atmosphere begins to change, hallelujah. I'm no longer thinking about what can happen, hallelujah, but I'm saying, hey, I praise you, God, hallelujah, because we're going to have a successful mission, amen. Santo, 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 hallelujah. You see, when we receive the giftness of tongues, the Christian soldier is being equipped for battle, hallelujah. We're able to wage war against the enemy as the gift of tongues allows us to praise God, amen. You see, the enemy is going to try to, 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 to destroy your mind. Hallelujah. He's going to begin to attack your mind. Hallelujah. But we got to be able to wear that helmet, eight pound helmet that the army uh, gives you to strengthen your neck. Amen. And then you put on the rest of that gear. Amen. That, that black vest in order to, to get no shrapnel. Come on now. Then they give you some, 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 some ammo for your M16, right? can get a little one, couldn't get the M4, amen, but we got the M16, right, uh, extended. Some of you are like, what's an M16? What's he talking about? It's a lot of stuff you got to wear, amen. Sometimes we become weary, come on now. And you go, you know what, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm not going to take too much water. I'm not going to take too much ammo. Come on now, anybody? Anybody there with me? Come on now. We used to have training all the time at, at the 82nd Airborne Division. Who? 
A couple of jumpers, amen. The rest are legs. <laughs> Let's not go there. Hallelujah. But it's all good. Everybody's like going, what are they talking about? It's their own language. They don't understand. Is that speaking in tongues? No, it's not. Hallelujah. You see, we're able to wage war against the enemy as a gift of tongues allows us to praise God. I don't know about you, but when I pray and I speak in tongues, it's very difficult for the enemy to bring to your mind a curse word. To bring into your mind a bad habit. To continue to deteriorate your health. That's what bad habits do. Come on now. All these bad habits are not simply nothing else to destroy you. And that's what the enemy wants to do. Amen. But you're here. Hallelujah. When you're combating with that. Amen. That is also a waging war. Sometimes in your mind. Come on now. You need to go to the Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. I need you right now. Amen. I'm dealing with this addiction. I am dealing with this habit. I'm dealing with this that I can't overcome. Come on now. These lips. They just like to gossip. Anybody there? Those that say that God says, amen, don't say it. <laughs> Why? Because your spirit and God's spirit is one, and it's impossible to, 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 to miss the light, to mix the light and darkness. Come on now. You can't mix light and darkness, amen. When you're sad, hallelujah, and your heart is contrite, amen, you just begin to praise him, hallelujah. There are times in your life you're, you're not going to be able to say nothing, hallelujah, and there's just only going to be some groans, hallelujah. But God knows your heart, amen. He knows your soul. He knows exactly where you are, amen. He's going to meet you right there, amen. Just before I, I, I finished the military, had one last deployment. I knew this was my last one. I couldn't, I couldn't do any more because there was something that uh, uh, at 130 degrees outside and, uh, and you're trying to sleep and you run inside. And, and, and by this time we had our, uh, uh, Saddam's palaces and we were staying at those palaces. And I'm telling you, it's not what I think it is. Is all a facade. I would run in and I would wet myself, soak myself with water so I could get 15 minutes of sleep. And in 15 minutes, I'd be dry again, just like being inside the dryer. And there was this battle, constant battle. Anybody there with me? You know what I'm talking about. There's this constant battle, like, I don't know if I can do this. Amen. But there, you got to take strength. Hallelujah. You got to just get some strength. Amen. As a soldier, hallelujah. You just don't give up. Amen. Hey, tomorrow is another day. Hallelujah. You see, you don't ever know when you're coming back from a deployment. They won't give you the end time. You just got to continue day by day and day by day. Hallelujah. It's the same thing. Hallelujah. We don't know when God is coming down. Hallelujah. But we as Christians. Jim, soldiers, we're moving day by day, in day by day, hallelujah, and every morning that I get up, I say, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for this day, I don't know what it's going to bring, but I'm here to your service, amen, hallelujah, santo, santo, soldiers who go into battle have been trained to put their fear aside in efforts to accomplish a mission they have learned to depend on their equipment their skill sets and their teammates to choose to go to battle amen in the same manner the christian soldier hallelujah equips himself with the word hallelujah that's why we have to read the word, amen. We've gotten these electronic devices, amen, and then they shoot you an email, a, a, a text in the morning, right? That little starter text, amen. But that's all we read. Anybody there with me? Am I the only one? And I'm the preacher, hallelujah. You see... We need the Bible. We need skill sets. We need fruit of the Spirit. Our teammates, hallelujah, need to call on every brother and every sister, every saint, amen. We need to depend on each other to ensure that we continue to walk in our faith and to learn to also depend on God, hallelujah. And we make the transition from the things I used to do in the world to the things that I do now for his kingdom. Come on now, anybody there with me? 
Hallelujah. See, the scripture tells me that the Lord Jesus proposed that the Holy Spirit needed to continue with us. Amen. By manifesting itself into our, our powerful way, much like Pentecost. In Acts chapter 2, amen. If you don't know what story I'm talking about, go to your Bibles, Acts chapter 2. The baptism of the Holy Spirit and the fire can only be introduced to the human soul when the soul is willing to receive it voluntarily. Hallelujah. You see, you got to be willing. Amen. You got to go, hey, I want to take it another step. Amen. I don't want to stay right here. Hallelujah. I need understanding of the word. Amen. I need a connection. Santo, santo. There can only be any doubt of the manifestation of God's spirit over your life, but the willingness to find yourself closer to God and to be able to have understanding of what the call is for your life. Amen. Secondly, how do we prepare for this gift? Amen. And if you have to go lunchtime at 12, please don't stay, you know, take off. Go to your reservation, whatever you need. Amen. Amen. But I'm going to keep on because this is the word. Amen. You must become a living sacrifice. T.L. Lowry puts it this way. Imagine you are invited to a seminar on worship. For those that are praising worship leaders or those that are on the music team, amen. When sometimes there is seminars, you want to go to see what's the new stuff, amen. What's the technology, you know, the screens and all this that you see right here. But imagine that you go there and instead of hearing all those things, he goes, how does, what does he say? I don't know, I, I, I don't know where I left off. You must become a living sacrifice. That's it. What I came all for all this to try out what I need to do to be good worshiped, what to bring to the church, something new, something different. And all he said was, you need to be a living sacrifice. Romans 12 and 1 says, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy. To offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Hallelujah. You see, if you come into the service, amen, and all you're going to do is come and you're going to sit, get up and leave, amen. You have done nothing, hallelujah, but fill a chair for us. Come on now. You have to be prepared, amen. You have to come when propose in your heart, hallelujah, that I'm going to be a living sacrifice for him, amen. That I'm going to worship him, hallelujah. That, that there's going to be a connection, hallelujah, between me and God, amen. Anybody there with me this morning? You see all the tools to create a battle worship atmosphere. The selection of songs and technology are great. However, before anything else, the Lord requires one chief ingredient. He needs all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. In unison, all under one. Amen. Under one roof, under one accord. And that's how the fire came. Hallelujah. In the tongues. Hallelujah. Because we were all under one accord. Amen. Hallelujah. Santo. He then can use us effectively nonetheless. Most of our time at church is not true worship. Uh-oh. Anybody there? But rather we become fixated with the technology devices. We look around to see other persons, how they're dressed. Then jealousy and envy begin to creep up rather than we're focused on the worship. Come on now. Come on now. Anybody there with me? Am I speaking the truth? Don't blame me. This is what the Lord gave me. I'm just putting it in writing. Amen. A sense of perspective comes only when we recognize that God has called us to serve and to worship him. Amen. That means we give our all to him. Our natural talents, our fellowship for believers in this house, our gifts, hallelujah. We are equipped for battle. We're equipped for the storm. We are here as a refuge. We're here as a high tower to find and to give courage, hallelujah, and to give compassion, amen, and fulfillment, amen, alabado eres. I don't know why you came here today, amen. Obviously, it's not to hear me. But God needs your full attention, amen. He wants your full worship. He wants your heart, hallelujah. 
I'm going to tell you, it's not easy being a, pe- a, a, a pastor or a preacher because sometimes the Lord is going to give you a message, amen, that you're just like, man, I don't know if I want to say that. And I delete it, delete. And he says, undelete. And I delete, undelete. We play this game. Anybody there with me? Let me move on. As soldiers of God, we cannot be defeated. As we present ourselves as a living sacrifice, it means to truly give dedication to our life with honor, amen, to God. Those that believe in Christ should be different from the rest of society. Those that believe in Christ should be different from the rest. We should be having progressive transformation, hallelujah, according to the revelation and understanding. Amen. What is all this you're saying, Ricardo? That means that as I begin to read the word, hallelujah, it begins to change me, hallelujah. As I begin to understand the word, amen, the fruit of the spirit begins to be manifested within you and I, amen. Amen. I lost some of you already in those amens. Thank you, sister. Our mind will change according to the prayer reading of the word and reflection of his word. The worship and the meditation of the works to the point that the Holy Spirit brings work to us. The Apostle Paul made it very clear that the Lord has placed motivation in our hearts that moves us in the direction in which we are designed. Amen. This is what it says in Romans 12, 4, and 6. For just as each of us have one body with many members, these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ we, through many, form a one body, and each member belongs to all others. Amen. That's me. When you hurt, I hurt. Come on now. When you're in pain, I'm in pain. Amen. When you're suffering, I'm suffering. Hallelujah. When there's a need, I I'm, I have a need. Come on now. Anybody there with me? Amen. And that's why we got to be in touch with each other. Amen. And that's not gossip. Hallelujah. That's understanding your family. Amen. And caring for those that are around you. Amen. Anybody need a washer and dryer tonight? If you need a washer and dryer, raise your hand. There is a washer and dryer dryer that needs to be given out so let me know if it's you make sure you give your name to brother amina okay where's brother amina right there that's brother amina the one who opened up so if one of my fellow brothers or sisters in christ suffers i suffer too if one of my fellow brothers in arms suffers, those are veterans, especially combat veterans. They suffer too. Hallelujah. They understand exactly what the person is going through. They could, had, could be and said for those that are pastors. Hallelujah. You don't know what the pastor's going through unless you have been a pastor. Come on now. Amen. I'm going to tell you, it's not an easy thing getting up and make sure that everything is running smoothly. And when things are not running smoothly, sometimes you just got to go, it's okay. I'm not going to affect it. Huh? I'm telling you, because this morning my wife said something's wrong with your face. And I said, well, that's what God gave me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But sometimes I got this business mode and I, I, it just goes automatically. It's like being in combat. Amen. When it's time to go, it's time to go. Amen. There's no playing around. Come on now. When it's time to come into God's house, amen, there's no more playing around, hallelujah. We're going to receive a word, amen, and we're going to give him worship, amen, and we're going to give him our all, hallelujah. ¿Cuántos alaban a Dios? That's for my Spanish-speaking people, amen. They didn't say anything. ¿Cuántos alaban a Dios? Hallelujah, amen. Amen, there you go, I got one Spanish, amen. Hallelujah. So stop comparing yourselves to others. There's only one apostle, one apostle Peter, one apostle Paul, one brother Amina, one brother Russell. Hallelujah. You can't compare yourself to another person. Come on now. God is giving your own set of skills, amen, your own talents. Hallelujah. And those are for you to give and to bring into this service for his ministry. Come on now. Amen. And if he's called you to preach, then you better get out there and start preaching. Amen. Don't have fear. Hallelujah. But step out there and know that God will be with you. Amen. The Espíritu Santo, hallelujah, está sobre ti. That the Holy Spirit is over you. Amen. Santo. You see, I am not the person in the video carrying that wounded soldier. You didn't get to see it. Go home and see it. But I have my own experience of the war. 
that have shaped me and have prepared me for today. Amen. As a trained military soldier, you need to constantly train that becomes part of you and allows you to act courageous when called upon to do so. Amen. You see, there's no hurt. There is nothing, amen, nothing wrong with you. You better stand up straight. Hoo up. Hoo up. Where's my soldiers? My soldiers. A tinch. Hoo up. Well, they're all veterans. They move so slow. Take seats. Three of them, I lost like six of them. All right, six of them like, man, what? I, what? Go fix your hearing. Hallelujah. It's okay. I got to be there too. Amen. I'm going to finish up with this. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to beat the Baptists. Y'all get this. Five steps of worship. I hate to give you a number because then you're counting. Five steps of worship. Exclamation. The book of Revelations teaches us in 4.8. This is a revelation that John, the apostle, had. While he was at the island of Patmos. He was in jail. He was there. And he had a revelation. And he goes into the heavens. Amen. And in verse 4.8, Revelations 4, it says, Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around even under its wings day and night they never stopped saying holy 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 is the lord god almighty who was and is and is to come hallelujah holy 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 hallelujah say it with me holy 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 Say it with me. Holy, holy, holy. You guys are already tired. It says day and night. Day and night. They're saying it over and over and over. Come on now. Anybody there with me? We got to practice because we're going to be there. Amen. We're going to be with them. You see, that is an exclamation. You're saying it out loud. Then there's a declaration. Part of our worship is declaration. In the same book in Revelation chapter verse 4, verse 11, the 24 elders declared, You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. You created all things, and by you and by your will they existed and were created. Hallelujah. So no matter what problem you have, hallelujah. No matter what you're going through, hallelujah. He created, he can remove it, he can bring it back to its original state. Come on now, amen. Every experience that you're going through right now, it's your own experience, hallelujah. Most of the experiences that I had that were tough, amen, were experiences to bring me back, hallelujah, to my creator, amen. To bring me back to my knees. Hallelujah. And just to call upon God. Hallelujah. That it didn't matter what was going on. I was calling upon him. Amen. And I was saying, God, you watch over me. Hallelujah. I don't know the outcome of this, but I know. Hallelujah. That you are in the midst. Come on now. When Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, hallelujah. But daddy, but where's the lamb? Where's the ram? I don't see it. No, you just carry the wood. God was already working it. Come on now. And if you're there this morning, amen, if you're going through some hardships and troubles, amen, God is already working it for you. Hallelujah. He's just trying to see how you're going to be resilient to it. Amen. He just wants your experience with him. Hallelujah. He wants you to be intimate with him. Come on now. Anybody there with me? Let me finish up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, we must declare that we are children of God redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And therefore, we are equipped to serve him and to pronounce the good word of faith. Amen. That's what we're here for. Amen. 
Third one, relocation. Uh, re, uh, recollection. Chapter 5, verse 9. And they sang a new song saying, You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. Because you were slain and with your blood you purchased the, for God persons from every tribe and every language and every people and every nation. Amen. He came for everybody. Amen. Everybody needs to hear the good news of faith. Hallelujah. The word of God. Amen. That he is the savior. He's the redeemer. Amen. That's everybody. This is why it's important that we read and sing words during praise and worship in the message to bring our remembrance the fullness of God. Amen. It's not just to repeat these words, but to truly think about the word that the author who uttered them. Amen. What was he meaning with that? Amen. And to bring us into remembrance of God. When I find myself during deployment depleted and drained, I would begin to listen to Kirk Franklin. Any Kirk Franklin people in here? Why do you cry? Anybody there? Anybody know that song? I was crying. I, I, I don't know why I'm crying, Franklin. You made this song for me today. Come on now. Now I was crying right there. Kirk Carr. Anybody know Kirk Carr? Go look for him. Brooklyn Tabernacle. Huh? I'm telling you. All these, there's so much songs. I got this little iPod, RCA. And they don't make RCA anymore. I'll tell you how old that thing is. Changed colors and it's like yellowish now. And anyways. But guess what? It still plays. I still play it sometimes, man. I'm just I just kick it. Man, I'm back in there. Whoo, Kirk Franklin. Hitler. <laughs> if he was here, I'll no, we're good. All right. Adoration. In verse 12 of chapter 5, they continue to give adoration to him. In loud voice, they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and to wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Amen. Stand to your feet so I can finish up because you're getting tired. Some of you are already falling asleep. Much like the soldiers walking twice and for a third time in the line of fire to rescue a person without any attention to those around them. We finally have to do exclamation and exaltation and exaltation. We'll begin when every living creature in the sea, under the sea, and on the earth, and everyone exalts God as the creator. Hallelujah. When we're raptured up as a church, amen. If he doesn't call you before that, come on now. Every knee will bow. Everyone will confess that he is Lord. Hallelujah. We used to sing a song. He is Lord. He is Lord. Oh, yeah, I set you up right there. Come on, Kirk Franklin. Every knee shall. There it is. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Somebody, somebody just yell it out. He is Man, I'm waiting for somebody to just get out there and sing it. I don't know. I know there's some singers out there. Come on now. He is. There it is. Come on, right there. Risen from the dead, and he is. There it is. Shall bow every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is. Amen, 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 amen. And if you don't know the song, go look it up in YouTube, amen, and practice it, and we'll sing it again next time. I'll finish up with this. As Christians, we're equipped by the reading of the word, our prayers, and our worship. As we celebrate our Veterans Day today, we are also celebrating Christian veterans that have given all their skill sets, compassion for others, and their desire to please God. Amen. We not be we might 
Okay, I can't even speak Spanish anymore. Was that English or Spanish? I don't even know where I'm at in my mind right now. We not might be, I, I said it again. We're probably not. Kirk Franklin's in here. Amen. But God heard our singing today. Amen. You see, it's come from the heart right here. It's not about the tone or the tune. It's about the intimacy with him. Amen. This is what I want to leave you today. Amen. That when the soldier is deployed and he's all alone. Amen. There is no music. There's no band. There's no church. He's him and God. His song and his song only. Amen. Thank you to all veterans for your service. And thank you to the spouses who stood behind. Life continued here in the United States for most. Unless you were like me when I was we were much younger as a couple, we would lock up the house. Zip, zip, zip. Right there. That was a drill, by the way. And screws. And I'm locking the windows and the doors with some four-inch screws so nobody goes into my house and takes my little couch that I had. And then we would go and be with Mama. But they still had the little ones to take care of. There was other things and responsibilities. Come on, anybody there with me? And there was still the worry of what's going on. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for being there. We don't say it much. Soldiers don't talk about the war. Let me hide behind this flag. But we're thankful. Hallelujah. The honor is not for us as veterans or soldiers. Amen. I want today to be the honor to God. Hallelujah. For his service. Amen. He deserves all honor and all glory. And we're so thankful that you were part of this service here today. Amen. With all eyes closed. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, this is the day. Amen. Lift up your hands and I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Just take the hand, the one next to you. If there's somebody next to you, if you're okay and comfort with that. And we just pray, amen. Heavenly Father, all together, Heavenly Father, we're thankful who you are. We ask you to be our master. Forgive my sins. Make me a new creature. I believe in you. I believe in your word. And I know that you can make a change in my life. I accept you. As my personal Savior, thank you for redeeming me for the blood that you shed for my sins. I confess today you are my Lord and Savior. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Put your hands together for the two souls, three souls that God has brought in to heaven today. Amen. Thank you so much. As you know, our pastor is out. He is uh, participating in another service uh, up in the Dallas area. I think it's the Dallas area, right? So, <clears throat> yes. And so just have prayer for him and traveling mercies as he returns. Uh, and for the rest of you, please uh, just enjoy your families. Amen. As you leave today, Thank you again for those that come into these doors. And pastor says to us, try us three times. You're about to like one of them. Amen. Because you might not like me, but you might like him. Hallelujah. Let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Thank you, Lord, once again for your love and your mercies, Father, for this word that you've given us today, for the peace in our hearts, Father, Lord. We're so thankful for a wonderful church that's so receptive, Father, Lord, to you that gives and brings their worship to you, Father. We're thankful for those that have lifted their hands today and said, hey, I want to be part of this fold. Thank you, Lord, for your heavenly angels that always accompanied around us, accompanied around those soldiers, Father, as they deployed and they were able to come back to their families. Father, all around the United States of America, Father, as we celebrate Veterans Day, Father, we thank you for what you have done. Father, for this nation that it represents freedom, Father, we are thankful. And today, Father, as we leave this place, I pray a blessing over our church in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everyone said, Amen, Amen. God bless you. Uh, wait, wait, one more thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, 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 pause. I forgot one more thing. I got Brother Chuck, something for my veterans real quick. Hold on. Before he does that, because we got a couple of announcements that was not announced. So, how many need some stuff done at your house? I hope everybody raises your hand. How many need some windows washed, some, some teenagers to come and do the work for you? You just sit there and supervise. Since we don't got our supervisor here, we need someone to supervise. How many need some, how many need some young people to come up in their house and, or outside do their yard and stuff like that? We got some youth that are trying to get their way to Winterfest. So this, how, this is how it's going to work. So you get as many youth as you want, and you pay them $50 for four hours. You get them for four hours. And each time that they work, they get that $50. And if you want to hire them again, that's another $50 for four hours. So we have a schedule. If you would like to have some of your teenage or some of the teenagers come and do some work at your house or anything like that, please let me or Sister Janice know, and we will get you that scheduled for you. And we will get all these teenagers tired and let them work for you because we don't want y'all doing all the work by yourself because teenagers need to work. They need to work. I don't like putting them on. I don't like them doing too much work, but we're going to get them to work. (laughs) So if you would like any of the teenagers to come help you out, please let us know. Also, um, I don't think there was any other announcements, but if, yes. Please be in prayer for Brother Beasley as he's having a a procedure tomorrow. Please be in prayer for Pastor R. He's starting to have some uh, mouth issues. He's having some tooth aches. Um, Also be in prayer for the pastor since he is traveling back from Dallas. And is there any more prayer requests? Awesome. I'm going to turn this to Brother Chuck. You can be seated just for a second. I think there's 50 things coming to Brother Romero's mind today. He's just, he's okay, though. He's okay. He's just veteran and everything. Let me speak to the young generation first. Y'all don't get spoken to very often. Don't be afraid to join the military. Don't. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard. Don't be afraid to join. I know you see a lot of stuff on TV and different things, but don't. Don't use anything as an excuse. If you have a specialty, doctor, lawyer, nurse, whatever, dentist, use that skill in the military. Don't be afraid to join, like I said, any of the branches of the service because you get to that, well, it's the older generation, it's the old bunch. No, it's not. You don't see a lot of older soldiers. You see a lot of younger soldiers. So don't be afraid to join. I was. And I didn't join until I was 24, 25 years old. But I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. It it taught me a lot. We got to go uh, to Germany and be over there. We were separated while we were in Germany. I had to go to Turkey. Um, The first Gulf War, which a lot of younger folks don't even know what that is, uh, I was in that. Uh, I always tell everybody, uh, the end of the world is, is not in Iraq, but you can see it from there. It's, it's, it's close, or Afghanistan, you can see the end of the world from there. But uh, uh, I appreciate all that anybody's ever done for our country. I don't take you for granted. You see people around missing limbs, arms, they're missing an eye, uh, in service to our country. Do we ever do everything right? No. 
But does anybody know? Uh, we all have flaws. We all make mistakes. We all mess up. But I'm thankful for you guys, and I'm thankful for the younger generation. I don't want to forget about y'all because y'all are the ones coming up, all right? And you're going to be the ones serving. You're going to be the ones doing. And don't be afraid. Don't, don't, don't. Don't let any story you've ever heard, just jump in there and go. And I think of my oldest boy who's serving in South Korea in the Air Force right now. And uh, that nut in North Korea just keeps launching all that all those missiles and they just they stay on alert all the time just constantly on alert 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 but don't be afraid of that you're serving your country just don't lose thought of sight of that okay all right if you're a veteran a retiree you're not in the service anymore um you got out after two years four years six uh it wasn't your thing and it's not for everybody but you can you can figure it out would you please stand? We got something for you, brother. Brother, uh, go ahead. I just want to say thank you. I know we've heard it, but thank you. Desert Storm, Desert Shield, Vietnam, Korea, Panama, Afghanistan. Grenada, all, all different different places everybody's been. Places we've never heard of. You know, the Fox pregame today show for the NFL is going to be in Qatar uh, at the air base there. I think that's pretty cool. You know, representing, representing. It's not a pride thing. It's just a thing that we served our country, and we're grateful for a free country. I'm grateful for you, Okay. People like my father who have gone on to be with the Lord, who was at the Chosen Reservoir in Korea, freezing to death, who was in Vietnam, putting up with all that stuff. I'm thankful for those guys. In the Desert Storm, Desert Shield, and now Operation Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom and the Afghanistan and all of that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody counts. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard. You all count. You all count. You're dismissed. Have a great day. Be blessed. And if you, do, if you want to join, I'm not a recruiter. Join. Don't be afraid.